Welcome back, and I'm Junk Dump, and today we're gonna do some intake valve grinding. I'm gonna be doing that on my SU 680 valve grinding machine. And today I'm gonna be grinding on a used stock intake valve out of an Oldsmobile engine. I'm gonna be removing the emissions ridge from the back of the valve. I'm gonna put a chamfering on the tip. I'm going to clean up the tip, and I'm going to back cut the valve, do the face cut, and then add another chamfering. Here's the used stock intake valve that I'm going to be grinding. Just need to open these valves in the back and get that grinding oil flowing. Now I'm going to be dressing the grinding stone to ensure that it's true. I need to install the chamfering V in order to get the chamfering angle correct for the centering check. This is what grinding the chip chamfer looks like. The tip chamfer here is perfect. Now I can install the valve for the tip grinding. Now I'll remove just enough material to flatten the tip in very small increments. The tip is going to require a little more grinding in order to smooth this out. Probably another thousandths will do. Almost there, and one more pass, looks like it'll do it. And this is what you want the tip to look like. Now I'm going to move over to the other side of the grinder and set up the grinding stone dresser. As I did before, this time I'm going to dress the grinding stone on the left to ensure that it's true. Here's that stock used intake valve again, and you can really see that emissions ridge on the back.
Gonna install that valve in the centering chuck. Now I need to set a very shallow angle to remove that emissions ridge on the back. Now I commence grinding off the emissions ridge. And I stop every so often to check that progress on the back, and here I can still feel the ridge, so it's going to require a little more grinding. Here I can feel the emissions ridge has been fully removed. I can reinstall that valve in the centering chuck and reposition it for the back cut. Here I begin performing that back cut. Now that I'm satisfied with the back cut, I'm going to reposition this for the face grinder. Here I'm starting that face cut grind. As I spin the valve here, you can see the inconsistency, meaning that the, the valve face had worn a little bit uneven. Probably was just sealing fine um, due to the wear in the valve seat. But now since we're going to freshen everything up, we're going to make sure that this is even and true. Here I'm very satisfied with what the back cut and the face cut look like. I'll reposition this again for the chamfer. Now I'm going to clean up the chamfer. If you look closely here, you can see what the finished cuts look like. You can clearly see that 
back cut into the face cut. Probably not clearly, but I have a photo following this that will be easier to see those. And cutting the intake valve in this manner will drastically increase the low characteristics around the intake valve. Once again, I'm Junk Dump, and I try to respond to each and every one of your questions and comments. Thanks again for watching.